Hello everyone and welcome to Whiskey Wars. Today we have two blended scotches to review today. Both are peated and both are bottled at 40% ABV. Now we have the Isle of Skye, eight year old. This is one uh, by Ian McLeod, McLeod. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I should do really, but I don't. Um, now this, obviously the age statement is eight years on this whiskey and Apologies if you can't hear the noise. I'll play some music over the top anyway, but uh, there's some sort of parade going on outside. And I don't know who's behind the music, but someone cannot play the trumpet at all. I think it's someone's dad who runs the event, must be. Anyway, I digress. This is the eight year old and it has a mixture. Obviously one of the famous parts of this whiskey in the blend is from the Isle of Skye and it is believed to be Talisker. But it also has some Speyside whiskey in there as well. So should be a little bit fruity, a little bit smoky. Let's see how that is. And then we have the Black Bottle. This is also bottled at 40%. Uh, this, is, this has been around since 1879, I think. Um, so quite it's quite old, but the recipe has changed over the years. And I've picked these two today. I could have gone for the Black Bottle 10 year old, but I didn't do, and there's a reason for that. I, I believe the 10 year old to have more Isla whiskey in than the standard black bottle does. I personally think there's a little bit more island malts in this black bottle than Isla, uh, which is different from the 10 year. And obviously the Isla Sky is an island malt, but they both have Speyside and Highland malts inside as well. So I think it's a little bit fairer, this review as well. Also the price is, closer as well. The Isla Sky is around £17 in the UK and the Black Bottle is also around £17. You can pay as high as 20 but I would always look for that, that £17 mark because you can find them for that price. Now one thing about the Black Bottles which I do quite like is they're the only Black Bottle design that I actually like. And that's just one, it's the name, but two, it's the history behind it. Um, so for me, I give it the pass on the black bottle. My gripe with more expensive uh, bottles that are black is that you can't see the liquid inside. So you don't know just how low it is. And I have finished a few bottles by accident, which I wouldn't have done if I'd have known how much was in. The other thing as well, that both these whiskies are screw cap whiskies. I know this is a sample, but the bottle, which I've had previous, that's also a screw cap. So they are firmly budget whiskies. Interesting, if you go into this whiskey, I'm just gonna pour a little bit more. If you go into this whiskey thinking, hmm, where's the Talisker? You'll be disappointed. You're not getting a cheap Talisker here. If, 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 if that's what you want, then probably the storm or the sky would be better value. But then I would always argue, tenure is just a few pounds more if you get it on a sale so if if you know what to look for with the talisker you can pick it up in this whiskey but it's subtle this whiskey is more fruit forward than a talisker but don't think red fruits for me this is more honeys sugared lemons orchard fruits A little bit of red fruit as well, combining with that. But there's just a nice, it's subtle, but you can pick up salt, pepper, sweet peat as well. But it's not strong in any of those notes. So this, I, I would call this a balanced dram that would appeal to the masses. Especially if you like your sweet whiskies, if you're a Speyside drinker, a Highland drinker. In fact, this comes across a little bit more, if you've had the old Pulteney 12 year old, this comes across a little bit more like that, where you have that little bit of salt balancing out the sweetness. But there is the addition of a little bit of peat in there, but it is a sweet peat. It's actually a really nice nose. For the money, I think it's a really good nose. I 
Okay, so the black bottle is actually peatier, but when I say peatier, I mean a stronger sweet peat than the eight-year-old. But also there's this, it's stronger in the, its butterscotch note. So it's more sweet peat, but also more butterscotch. But you get less complexity and you don't pick up the honey and orchard fruits that you do on the sky. Also, that salt note, I would say there's a little bit more, touch more salt in the eight-year-old. To be honest, I, I'm a big, big fan of the Black Bottle. Primarily for its price, but for the, the performance it puts out for that price, I think it's a great whiskey. More complexity in the eight-year-old, though, and also the Black Bottle does run a little thin on the back end, whereas this one doesn't. Okay, we'll go on to the taste. Just before we do though, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button down below, I'd really appreciate it if you do click the subscribe button because it really helps the channel grow. Uh, so thank you, I really appreciate that if you have clicked the subscribe button. Okay, on to the taste. Oak, spice and honey. The complexity falls a little bit away on the taste. But you would expect that, I mean, these are simple, affordable, budget-friendly whiskies. The, the bottom shelf whiskies, really. But I do believe these are two of the better punches for their weight category, really. <clears throat> Oak, spice and honey, fairly simple. A little bit, a little bit more spice, though, than what I was expecting. Um, I can already tell it's a little bit different from the Black Bottle because I'm really picking up that salt more, um, maybe a bit of ginger, the oak spice and a little bit of honey sweetness on top. Just a subtle smoke in here, nothing strong. Also subtly fruity, but not strong. Closer to the orchard fruits. It does run a little bit thin as well on the back end. So both of these do run a little bit thin. Okay, on to the black bottle. Sweeter and peatier, which I said on the nose. It's also true for the taste. But I, I really want to get across this. It's like a really funky butterscotch, which is the sweet peat mixing with it. But also there is a little bit of ethanol that runs through on this whiskey as well. Charred, slightly burnt wood on the taste with butterscotch. There's something a little bit bitter now that I, I, I get after a few sips of the black bottle. It starts off more sweet, something a little bit bitter. It's almost like a bitter herb, but I, I can't pick pick out a certain herb here. A little bit grassy. Um, but again, not a ton of complexity. They are one dimensional whiskies, maybe two dimensional with the, with the, with the Isle of Skye. It seems to have a little bit more going for it. I think the Isle of Skye is going to appeal to more people than the Black Bottle will. And that's just down to, I think it's more of a mass appealer. The Black Bottle, it does have this funky butterscotch with that sweet pea. And um, I think there's quite a few people who might not get on with that. Yeah, I, I think I've made my mind up and I feel good about that. This used to be one of my... Um, real go-tos for a budget-friendly whiskey. However, Black Bottle have recently come out with an Alchemy series where they proof their whiskies up to 46%, but they've been much better. Uh, but now they are around the £25 mark, but you can get them for around £21, £22 if you know where to look. So they're a little bit more expensive than the Isle of Sky. And it wasn't a fair comparison. They are the greatest of all of these. But these two in front of me, I actually now think this one's almost a redundant purchase. Because I think you can go for the Isle of Sky now for that £17 mark. And then if you want to spend just a few pounds more, go for an Alchemy Series Black Bottle. And that's that's the way I would go. So for me, the winner today is definitely the Isle of Sky 8-year-old. I think it's a good whiskey and it's going to appeal to more people than the Black Bottle will. Don't go expecting miracles, but for its weight 
and when I say it's weight, I mean for its price and its value, I think um, it's it, it's really giving you a good amount of flavour. So for me, the Isla Sky wins today's war. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do consider clicking the like button and most importantly, that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey War.